It's interesting too, uh, Marv, that that you know, fan, teams always wear the mantra of people don't believe in us, we're being disrespected, and they usually take that all the way to the crown. Very rarely do you win the crown, do you raise the banner, do you get the ring, and still say that because the Cavs are kind of overlooked right now because Durant signs with the Warriors and everybody's paying attention to the team that the Cavs beat last year. And you know how teams in every sport use that. And uh, it, it, LeBron got right on that right away, uh, which is wise. I mean, you're looking for some degree of motivation. And, um, you know, that's, uh, that, that's a good one, too, although he agrees that Durant should have made the move, you know, from Oklahoma City to uh, to Golden State. I mean, you have the right to uh, to leave under the uh, current rules in sports. Uh, but I, I think it's just motivation. I mean, the Cavaliers have to play the season out. They have their own issues. They need a backup point guard. They uh, uh, they may have to uh, actually uh, cut uh, either trade or cut somebody because they're so far over the cap that it's you know it's ridiculous. But uh, they're, they're still, you know, they are obviously the uh, the top of the the Eastern Conference. I don't think there's anybody else close. There are some teams that have improved and, you know, will be pretty good. But I, I don't think there's going to be any competition for them, at least in the East. And so out West, how do you see the Durant uh, Golden State? season playing out Marv do you see do you see the same start that they had last year do you see a little bit of a struggle and we're all wondering how is this going to work how do you see the storylines playing out first I see two things I don't think they're going to try to break any records during the regular season I know we we did a lot of their games last year and um, Steve Kerr would say that uh, you know the players want it and I think they did you know and and he wasn't really able to rest people at the end of the year. And I, I just don't think you can do it in 82 games, even though they have spread out the schedule a little bit more. Now, uh, I, I think that there will be a lot of deferring at the start of the season. You have several players on that team who do the same thing in terms of handling the ball. And then Durant is someone who always likes to handle the ball. And it's amazing how he does uh, handle it in being seven foot or seven foot one. But you also have uh, Steph Curry and uh, Clay Thompson and Andre Iguodala when he gets in the lineup, and uh, I, I th- and Draymond Green, who basically runs the team when he's on the floor. So how is that all going to play? Because uh, that changes their style slightly. They're still going to be great. Uh, there are teams that will compete with them. I, I think San Antonio is still very good. Uh, for the Clippers, the window is closing, but they're, they're a solid team. I mean, I'd question the bench a bit. Uh, Oklahoma City, I think, is still a, a, a playoff contender, but they're not, you know, I, don't, I think when you're talking championship, there's, there's no shot. Uh, but the Warriors will, will still be tremendous, but it's, it's a question of working it out at the start. I mean, they're going to have some games where they, you know, put up 140 points, you know, where everything is going. And when you play an 82-game schedule and you're going up against uh, a lot of teams that they are so, uh, you know, so much better than, uh, they're going to break all kinds of scoring records. Thanks for calling in, Marv. All right, Rich. Thanks. Always a pleasure. Same Thank you. you. You bet. That's Marv Albert right here on the Rich Eisen Show. Think about it. How many champions raise the banner, put on the rings, and say, you don't even think we have a shot this year? We, you don't, we, you don't believe in us. You're not even paying attention to us. That's what's going to happen in Cleveland tomorrow night. And I'm telling you what, what if the cat, what if, what if the Warriors start like, well, even, even seven and three, right? Eight and two. That they'll, it might even be alarm bells at eight and two, right? Depending on some of the losses, who it might be to. This is going to be fun. And if, the Cavs and the Knicks go tomorrow night the way that I expect it to go. Uh, how soon do we bust out the uh, Carmelo would love to play with LeBron one more time <laughs> stuff? Uh, how, how, how quickly do we uh, – how do we get to the Carmelo would love to finish his career with LeBron stuff? Very fast. Third quarter? Case, Bef- before halftime's too soon. I'll it, take the over on that. In case you're wondering, the Warriors are 2-3 to three odds to win the championship, according to the desert. Out. Cleveland 11-4. to four. Golden State – 
uh, over under win loss for this season is at 66 and a half games. <laughs> so stupid. The Cavs are at 57. It's so stupid. That's crazy. 66 and a half. What a stupid number that is. Stupid. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern on Audience.